let, let me take a different perspective because because I I don't think the consumer should always decide, and I also think that we as a society have confused less bad with good, um, and you know you started to talk about this. I mean, less bad is not good, and as much as I like seventh generation products and I think they're great, they are less bad. All of our products create CO2 emissions, they create garbage, they use natural resources, and they are not good products. They're better than their competitors, but they're not good. If we want to have a sustainable economy and we want to have a sustainable form of capitalism, we have to start creating products that are good. Sustainability, in a sense, may not even be enough because we have a world that's so messed up, we don't want to sustain it. We want to renew the world and repair all of the damage. And we're not going to do that through products that are less bad. We're going to do that because we insist that companies create products that are good and have a net positive effect. And I don't, you know, and I must say, I, I sit on panels in the last month with people for Coke and Pepsi, and I listen to them talk about how it's great to get kids to run around in the playground to offset drinking a lot of soda. Forget about the fact that it takes 20 liters of water to make one can of soda. I don't buy the notion. It's true with healthcare. You know, we can't make people sick and then spend money to make them better. It just simply costs too much money. We have to prevent them from getting sick in the first place and invest in optimizing their wellness rather than sell products that, that make people miserable and then sell them something else to make them feel better about being so miserable. 